Okay, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to add in a second floor and a staircase in Revit. So first, what I have drawn here are walls for a first floor. I also have my first floor in. Over here in my elevations, I'm gonna add in a new level. So I clicked over on the elevations. Here I'm in my east elevation. I'm gonna go up on the architecture tab above the datum panel. I'm gonna find the level tool. Click on level tool from left to right. I'm just going to click and make a level that's above level two. I'm going to escape out. When I click on this, I can edit it to be exactly the height that I want it to be. So here I want it to be 10 feet above level two. So I'm going to make it at 20 feet. Now I have a third level. So essentially level three is going to become the uh, starting point for my roof. And then level two is going to become the starting point for my floor on the second level. I'm going to go over to my floor plan level two, and what I now need to think about is my stairs. How do I get up to level two? So I'm in level two, and I can see that I have this uh, visible graphic that's kind of grayed out of my first floor walls. That's handy because it helps me place my stairs. That is called an underlay, and you can find that you can, you can turn your underlay on and off in your project browser. Here we see underlay right here. We can see right now it says level one plan. I could go to none and then that'll disappear. And then I can change that back. So if you don't see it, you gotta turn on underlay level one and say apply. Now that I can see my underlay of level one, I can accurately place my stairs. So I'm gonna go to the stair tool. There's a more complicated way to make stairs by sketch. I'm gonna use stair by component. Basically it makes some things pre-made for me. Makes it very easy. Now, my base level, by default, since I'm in level two, my base level wants to be level two and go up to a top level of level three. I'm going to change that. It's easier for me to start my stairs at level one and have them go up to level two before I make them. Now, as I go to click, where I first click, it's going to start in level one. So where on my floor plan in level one do I want my stairs? So I can just click an area. And as I draw my stairs, it basically tells me each stairs, each step that I make, it knows how many more steps I have to go until I reach up to level two. And so in this case, I need to make 18 steps to get up those 10 feet. And so let's say I want to make it turn. I could click and create over here. And uh, I can see here that I have to edit this because where I clicked, it's making this railing go in kind of weird. So let me undo that. When I go to create the rest of my stairs here, I'm going to need to make sure I jog over enough. So as I click, if I want to make my stairs turn, I can click to stop. And then I can come over to the edge here and click again to start. And now when I create my stairs, I have a landing that helps these stairs turn. After I have that landing and everything's good, I can hit the check mark and my stairs have been created. If I go to 3D mode, I can see that they start at level one and they end at level two. If I wanna just make a straight shot of stairs, it's even easier. All I have to do is go back to my stair tool. I'm gonna to make it start once again at level one, go up to level two. And if I wanna make it a straight shot, all I do is just click and place them in. Hit the check mark and we're good. I can go back to 3D. I can also flip flop the way my stairs go. If I click on them, hit space bar, I can actually change the, uh, the run orientation. I should do that in my plan view here. If I click on it, I can click the arrow here to change the direction which way is up. So this would be the base, and this would go up to level two, uh, or I can hit space bar on it, and that should flip it as well. 